Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Hour turn. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the previous episode, we investigated the town of Wraithwin. I believe that's what it's called. And uh, went into the Tavern of the Waning Moon, where we found the documents that we needed to uh, give to he that was, the awesome Shatterkai... Uh, not sure what he is. Paladin? Monk? Who knows? Um... So we will head back there and uh, return those documents to him. We also encountered uh, one of the Thorm family, Thesobald here, this horrid, bloated monstrosity. Uh, that was an exciting fight. I guess it didn't have to be a fight, but uh, I, no way in hell Ash was going to drink what he was offering, so it became a fight. He took offense to it, which uh, that's on him, you know? If uh, somebody wasn't want, doesn't want to have a drink, you 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 should not force them. Anyways, uh, we're gonna continue on and uh, see what there is to find. We, oh, hello. Something over there. Dirt. That's what we found. I love dirt. We should put it in a jar. Um. Forty six gold. Okay. So out this way we have. So yeah, this is gonna bring us back in the direction we came from. That's gonna take us into Moonrise Towers up here. Sorry, down there. Whereas up here, we don't really know yet. Um, is there anything further down here? I think... God, I wish you could move the camera. So this is angled to north, so I can just quickly have a look. See if I've been down here. I'm pretty sure I've been down here. So I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything else. Unless... Hold on. Now I'm not so sure. We're gonna have a look anyways. Ah, uh, it's just through the tavern here. But some of this looks like it's stuff you might be able to, like, vault onto. Then again, perhaps not. This path is interrupted, but then again, we're also not close enough. What's in these barrels? Big wine barrels. What's in here? Uh, nope. Do not need anything there. Um, not enough space. I'm just gonna assume that's impassable, which is fine. Okay, so we'll, we'll go around. So we have been down there, that I do remember. It's been a couple of days since I last played this, so bear with me for a moment. Yeah, so if we go into Moonrise, oh, this is just the uh, the sigil, so we can actually walk straight into Moonrise. It isn't like a, uh, a load screen area, which is cool. But we're gonna head up into this battlefield where we have uh, these dead fellows. Gee, I wonder what happened to them. You have a lantern and a torch. I think I already looted them. Yeah, we have Karnis here as well. Screw it, I'm taking the candle. We'll give it to uh, Asterion. Good money there. One uh, one whole gold. Uh, so we'll bypass this. I don't know if this was an encounter that we needed to fight. Oh, we have Shadow Cursed Harpers. Oh, look. Shadow Cursed Harpers. Looks like we're in a fight again. What do you know? Um, anybody we can snipe immediately? Can't have disadvantage against the target. Why not? We're in a little bit of a disadvantageous location, to be fair. Doesn't seem like I can actually target anybody. I can target that one? Can't have advantage. Okay. Well, regular Daka it is. It's too dark. Come on. So it's part vampire. All right. Well, it's been baned. Sucks to be you, then. All right. We got some actual shadows. Being creepy. Um... Well, this one's right here. I see no reason why we need to relocate, so let's just uh, remove this one from the equation. I'm going to move a little bit, but we got to bear in mind that I have the light radius, so the rest of the party does need to stick near me, unless uh, insanity and mayhem is the goal, in which case uh, I guess they can go somewhere else. Pact of the Blade. I think he already has his uh, blade, his blade packed out, right? Yeah, he's got the pact bound rape here so we don't need to do anything further there i don't really know this is it's a cantrip it's gonna last two turns screw it they, they do necronic damage anyways what's the point he's got an, an action and nothing to do with it that's the point um i don't think these ones are going to be able to uh draw near enough to oh hello there's one right there already what do you know? Uh, we could shoot it with our bow, or we could hit it with a fireball. The fireball does a lot more damage. Bow is more accurate. Let me hit it with a bow. Or not. 
can also not do it. That's fine, too. All right. You coming in? Necrotic Claws with Shadowheart? Yeah. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. Dash. Uh, did they all cast that as one? Or are they just all going on the... S yeah, they all went on the same uh, initiative order because I guess they're all the same type. Um, the two of them are... Two of them have a 51 health, and that one has 15. Which is interesting. But let's not worry too much about it. Can we, uh... We cannot get an advantage. Not without flanking. Uh, well, let's pick this one off. It only has 15 health. But, uh, it lives! I'm gonna keep him... Right around here. Can we go into hiding? No. We don't really need to. Path is interrupted by what? Oh, hi. You. You can see you there. All right, we'll do it like this. Lucky, reroll. Ash rolled a... Yeah, do it. All right, that one's down. This one is not looking too good. We can also close in and do a quick shank right here. Nice, it's silenced. Not sure that's going to matter much, but uh, it is what it is. We can have Will come in. And engage against uh, this guy already. I mean, I think that's a, a good call. We don't need to throw anything. Okay. Another shadow? Okay. Let's see here. We could have uh, Shadowheart engage up here against the shadows. She can take some of the heat off of us down here. I think that's a good call. Um, Divine Strike Poison. I, I reckon you guys are immune to poison. Poison immunity. What a surprise. Okay. Bleed for me. Okay. No, do not do Divine Strike Poison. And we can hit him again with a uh, teeny bit of an off-balance attack right there. It's pretty solid damage. It's frightened. I don't know exactly how that works, but... Ow. Okay, Ash got missed, thankfully. Okay, so now we can do advantage shenanigans, which is great. So we can sneak attack this one for a whole lot of damage, possibly even killing him in one hit. Or we can critically miss, that's also fine. Uh, it's not, actually. It's just me trying to cope. But, uh, you know, Asterian can act in melee and has his offhand knife, which is pretty fun. Uh, so we can do Daredevil proximity here, uh, which will allow us to uh, use our Eldritch Blast against this guy, point blank. Bye. Never mind. Not bye. How about with the kniff? Get him. All right. Good job, Ash. He killed something in melee. I don't believe it. Um, Will? Yeah, close in. I'm saving his spells. I'm just going to save all of our spells. I don't think we need them in this encounter. Actually, we can use our warlock spells. Because we can get those back much more easily. But uh, Shadowheart, just engage here. No divine strike. Uh, we can Shield of Faith. I don't think we need Shield of Faith, so why don't you just Healing Word yourself? Seven extra hit points back. That way we won't even need to do a, uh, a short rest after this. Providing nothing awful happens. But this seems like a... Uh, it's just going to be an easy encounter. Which is fine. They don't all need to be hard. Uh, I could Shield Blow him down. This is... Uh, I can just do this whenever, right? Bye. I mean, not bye, but... At least you're on the ground. Okay. Kill you? Oh my god. Asterion, please! Okay, nine damage. This is worth the cost. Okay, you can do one hit there, one hit there. No, don't. Ah, it's the wrong one. It would have been nice if it told us uh, which one it did that with. I can move up here, it's gonna provoke an attack of opportunity. I guess I'll Entropic Ward that. Never mind. Um, and we'll just at least stab this one. Get it out of here. No holding back. All right. I think we're going to have to do a... Uh, a thing. By a thing, I mean a, uh, a short rest hereafter. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Just what are our other options here? Arms of Adar will damage Asterion, so I'd rather not. And no, just just kill it in melee. Come on. Guys. 
It's not hard. This is like XCOM level of... Okay. That alright. Yeah, you shall. Uh, and then she can move further up that way. Uh, drop a heal on herself because she is damaged. I don't mind using up my level ones. Oh, that one's still up. Yeah, I totally forgot about him. Thankfully he missed. So we can have Asterion deal with him. Asterion! He has missed almost every single ranged attack this battle. Like an absolute chump. Alright, well, we're in daredevil proximity, so... Double critical hit. Well, now we're talking. Alright, we'll get him. 80%. Don't XCOM this, thank you. What have we here? Uh, breath, or half plate, even. A petrified tumor. Okay, we're gonna let Ash pick these up, because uh, no there is waste. alchemical ingredients here. Um, Shadow Heart, get him. We could actually probably use our poison there, although they may be... No, they just have necrotic resistance. Intriguing. Okay, little heal again. Gonna miss. All right, Asterion. Let's move. All right. Thank you, finally. Let's go. Okay, no more daredevil proximity. We don't need this anymore. Uh, we can only use it while we're threatened. I guess. That's fair. Not sure why we'd use it otherwise. Beautiful. This fight is over. A long way to go still. Um, that's a level 3 spell slot. I'm okay with using a level 3 spell slot to at least heal up two party members here. Fantastic. And then I'll drop another one on myself. Could also... Increase my max hit points with an aid. Okay, not sure what happened there. Don't think it actually did what it was supposed to, or maybe it healed 10, not sure. Uh, what I will do is actually summon an imp. Wonderful. Um, so let's go and loot the bodies here. Move the equipment around. Rotten fish, I don't think we need rotten fish. So, let me just get rid of these. Okay, so I actually have to, like, pick them up manually, which doesn't put it in my proper inventory. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, so it is. Camp supplies. What's you will that? go to camp. What is what? That? A plaque. Yeah, this is the one we just looted. What did the shadows say? The man turns his head away in shame. His neighbors would not renounce Saluna. Now they hang in the town square. Yeah, for all the good it did you, old man. You see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the lute. He's better than his uniform might suggest. Mm -hmm. You feel a rush of outrage. This woman worshipped her to glimpse. the end of the loot so playing why does the flaming fist not spare her? It's the catatonic man you encountered in oh. Last Light Inn. Okay, would have... Okay. The loot playing... You see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the loot. He's better than his uniform might suggest. You gonna say the thing again? You catch a glimpse of the loot playing Flaming Fist. It's the catatonic man you encountered in Last Light Inn. All right. That's uh, that's an interesting little lore tidbit there. So this guy knew him, or whoever the shadow was. You feel a rush of outrage. This woman worshipped Shah to the end. So why does the Night Singer's curse not spare her? Uh, because Shah is bad, so I hear. From several reliable sources. It's not just one person telling me that now. It's multiple people. I'm beginning to think they're all correct. Horseradish, huh? Alright. Well, I'll take these petrified tumors. You can never have too many of those, I guess. Um... Traps, please. You... Ah, we're somebody we already looted. We're not part of this battle. Oh, there's two more shadow vestiges. I think I caught all of them, right? You see a man yeah. drain his tank in the yeah. Alright, what does this black say? Oh. 
Ah, F, loss, pain, alls, L, rise. Catch a glimpse of the loot playing Flaming Fist. It's the catatonic man you encountered in last This is a puzzle. Lighting. And I don't know what it means. I was trying to piece it together. Oh, there's another one here. Our L, Mr. Wen... Neathorm. Hmm. And we got another one here. That's curious. Addy O S of Night. This is related to something we found, I'm almost sure. We got some black oleander here, I'm gonna take this, and I don't think we looted you. So we will do that real quick. Longboat of Shadowheart. And the armor to various other people. Okay. Oops. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with all of these. I wonder what that did. I wonder what what did. I feel like this is a puzzle. Oh, I feel like this is a puzzle to open this door. The curse has no effect here. Huh. What is this place? Guess we're about to find out. Sharon's Sanctuary. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, that is a statue of Shar. Well, good thing we brought Shadowheart along. So how's this whole shadow curse treating y'all? I guess they're all alive down here. Anything in these shadow vases? Alright, what do we have? Nothing. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? A deep, eldritch hum echoes in the corners of your mind. Your patron knows a thing or two about turning people. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The violet flame will guide the way. <laughs> Beautiful. Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree. And approve. Okay. What did we get there? We just got a, uh... The Dark Lady's Grace. I've earned Shar's approval. I have plus five charisma. That's... <laughs> that's quite good on me. Um... Being a warlock. Can I get Will? To do this as well? That'd be... That would be great. The statue yeah. watches serene. Mm, no. Okay, it's just me. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Wrong button. Can't slow down. And I think this is probably it, unless there's another statue we can interact with here. Do you think oh. yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? Uh, this is a wisdom thing. We don't really need that. Uh, I'm gonna leave. We're gonna let Shadowheart do this, because Shadowheart is a wisdom-based character. Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? Cleric of Shah, bow your head modestly. You are wise if Shah deems so, ignorant if, if she deems so. Interesting. A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. Okay. Plus five to wisdom, so we just buff, we just drastically juiced times. up our casting stats. We have another one right here. This is probably gonna be intelligence. Do you accept yeah. Shah's test of your intellect? Uh, we don't have a character that needs intelligence right now, so I can just make an intelligence saving throw or not. But I'm not going to because I feel like if we fail this blessing, bad shit's gonna happen. So we might lose our other blessings. So I'd rather not risk it. Let's head out. Cool little uh, shrine, actually. That was uh, that's fun. Nice reward, and a, and a unique reward, like not an item reward. It's just 
temporary buff, but it's a it's a good temporary buff. <laughs> and it's going to give me some uh, strong incentive to not rest for as long as possible, because I don't really want to go back here and do it again. I probably won't unless I happen to be in the area again. Like, I'm not going to, you know, exploit this to try and uh, get more. Okay, we have some uh, annoying pop-in going on here. The House of Healing. Rythwin House of Healing. Presiding Surgeon, Malus Thorm. Malus Thorm. And then we've got another house here. We have had an oil a flask. Holding. The Waning Moon again. Wait, this isn't the Waning Moon. This is double doors. Unlocked, because I found a key somewhere. Interesting. So we can just walk inside, right? Oh, it was very dark. Um... What do we got here? We're gonna head up to the House of Healing, don't you worry. I just want to look what's here. We've got some, uh, camp supplies. I can't access my, uh, main, uh, stash, by the way. It seems like something's bugged there, which is, uh, rather annoying and unfortunate. Oh, this is down here, huh? Okay. This is, like, another access point that doesn't actually lead to uh, any other... or it doesn't seem to connect to the rest of it, which is interesting. I don't know. But the reason I'm sending these off to camp is because you don't actually need to have access to your staff in order to uh, make use of them. Your stash, I should say. I've picked up a wine. Okay. Um, broken cupboard. Canteen. I guess... Is this wine actually, like... Yeah, it's, it's camp supplies. Sweet deal. Well, then I'm gonna grab them. I wish that wouldn't happen. <laughs> canteen? Guess we can't interact with that one. What do the canteens give? Nothing at all. Goodbye. Uh, send to camp. And I'm gonna actually, meanwhile, throw the tumors into the alchemy sack. All right. Well... Interesting. What do we got out here? This can lead down somewhere. Just another entrance. Okay. Well, back up here then. Um, back past the well. Cool little uh, area. Let's head into the, the House of Healing. Cool little area. There was just like a room with nothing in it basically nothing in it. But this whole area is cool. I stand by that point. Up we go. What are we going to find here? Looks like a hospital. Yeah, it's probably not Either doing... Us, there could be some useful potions inside. Yeah. Question is, are we going to find any more thorns? Ooh, the music. Whoa, hey, okay. The doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Uh... Are, are, we, are we queuing again in this episode, too? If you saw my Rogue Trader series, you'll know that I spent most of an episode queuing. It was actually quite fun. <laughs> Fine, I'll get in line. Be patient. Be well. You're... Okay, Sister Cinda. I, I don't want to say she seems sane. Okay, the way how she's standing there, fucking Silent Hill-like, uh, kind of implies that she's probably not very sane. We got some silver... You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line. And okay, I, I don't want to necessarily piss them off, so it seems like we can't go over there. Uh, what is You're happening? Not oh, not so well. Okay. Um, but well enough to wait. Join the line. Where is there a, a line? Like, I, I don't really understand what we're supposed to do here. There's no one else here. She's literally the only person in here.
Can we just talk to her? Something to ask. Oh, not so well. I'm just gonna. Enough to wait. Join the line. Not enough time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. I can... Warlock deception. I'm sick with the deep malaise. The one that came from a place beyond the stars. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm sick with the deep malaise. The one that came from a place beyond the stars. We're gonna be creepy right back at her. I think we can manage this. Give me some help, Char. Or Shadowheart. And Char, technically. This is a charisma test. Charisma is juiced up by Char at the moment, so. Okay. Success! Poor creature. Oh, so sad. So sick. Yes. The doctor will see you. The doctor will soothe. I don't. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. I. Yeah, the reason why I'm not being as hostile here as I have been to other places infected by the Char sickness is because this one seems fairly coherent, or at least, you know, she's not hostile. The exhaustive log lists each and every patient to have sought healing in Wraithwin, along with their ailments. The minor injuries and common diseases of the early pages give way to critical wounds and deep lacerations. The repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding the healers to turn away their wounded harpers and selenites and reserve their tonic for wounded, tonics for wounded dark justiciers on the orders of General Ketherick Thorm. Lovely. Uh. Yeah. Silver plate. These are worth something. What we got here? A jar of coagulated blood. Yep. Looks like a jar of coagulated blood. I, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it. Rustic chest. Speaking of... Uh, let's give these to Shadowheart. I'll take these two. That was not a bad find. We've got we've got a blood bank here. Maybe some more healing potions. Should actually be checking everything here, because there could just be healing potions anywhere. We've got a canopy bed, rusted short sword. Actually, we should check the skeleton as well. Because it's got cool stuff. True love's embrace. Intimate embrace. One of a pair. A magical pair of wings. This allows rings. This allows the wearer to cast warding bond once per long rest on a creature wearing the matching ring. The scholar of love, Joel Ferris Baldidims, writes that the next time he reads about a woman compared to a flower, or any feature of geography for that matter, he's going to start knocking on poets' doors with a sledgehammer. <laughs> okay. Uh, read it like this. Entry 47. We're being attacked. My brave, beautiful Miranda volunteered to fight. She says it's her duty as a cleric of Shar. I can't bear the thought of anything happening to her, but I know if she, I know she'd be angry if I said anything. I'll pray to Our Lady to keep her safe. Entry 48. Miranda woke me in, a, in full armor, a smile on her face. She got down on one knee and proposed. A beautiful obsidian ring in her hand. Of course I said yes. As a cleric, she was able to marry us then and there blessing the rings as she slipped them on our fingers. I'm terrified for her, but I'm also so happy. I knew she loved me. I knew it. Entry 49. Miranda faced down an entire troop of harpers, killing every last one. She didn't have a scratch on her. Blessed be the Lady of Loss. I tried to prepare a celebratory meal for her, but I had a Get dizzy out, spell. Blood poured from my nose and Miranda found me passed out on the floor. She told me to rest and not to bother going to the House of Healing, that it was likely to stress. She's right, but I'm still scared. Entry 50. I know Miranda said not to, but I went to the House of Healing. Blood leaks from my nose and ears, and there's strange wounds all over my body. The nurse kept asking about my ring, and when I told myself, when I told her myself and Miranda got, just got married, she looked at me strangely. When I asked her what was wrong, she sent me home, telling me not to come back. There are black spots in my vision, and I can't feel my legs. What is wrong with me? What is happening? Well, clearly, this person didn't die of, uh, the Shadow Curse. 
but something else, because they weren't reanimated by it either, so. I mean, they may, the Shadow Curse may have killed them. I, I suppose we can't rule it out. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Put a big fucking beacon on that. A little rack down here as well? Nothing? Okay. Well, we'll loot the uh, silver tray here. And I think the bottle racks probably have nothing. That would be my guess. Okay, so we don't need to search for those. I will head in here now that we can just walk around freely. This is great. We have ourselves another skeleton with a candle. We'll take it. Candles are great money. Um, they're not. They're pretty mediocre, but... Surgeon's Memorandum to all Wraithwin House of Healing medical personnel from Malice Thorm, head surgeon. Okay, so that's the Thorm that we're going to find here, I guess. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me that this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade, not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So has Thayeth Shar. Only in the infirm's suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Lovely. So, Malice Thorm. Maybe... Maybe we can actually help the surgeon lady? I mean, she seems fucking creepy, but... Maybe she's okay? Surgery kit. That seems surgery kit. What do these do? we use them for anything? No. Alright, see you later then. Guess we don't need that. Stacked towels. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Just a syringe. I guess we can take a syringe. Who knows when that'll be useful. Well, I guess we'll head in here. Staff bedding pool. Rules. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet, one gold. Round one bets. Pool, 11 gold. Lidwin, chicken egg. Cinda, wine bottle. Una, carrot. Vanessa, Candlestick, winner, Anya, Ogre's Finger. Round, two bets. Pool, 15 gold. Lidwin, Life Rat, winner, and yuck. Cinda, children's doll. Huna, pearl necklace. Oh, oh, okay, I'm not gonna read the rest, but... Round three does not have a winner. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. I don't even want to know. Okay, and Cinda was part of it, so clearly she's a bit creepy. We got bodies under sheets here. This is this is very bloodborne. Urgent request for supplies. To Chief Chirurgeon, Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate, from Sister Anna Lidwin, Dark Cloak, Rythwin House of Healing. Urgent, dear sir or madam, we have reached dire times in Rythwin. War has come. Do you not teach that it is our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail? without regards for the gods they worship or the champions they heed. Yet our surgeon Malice Thorm abides by his own creed, the will of Shar, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves subpatients' injuries to fester so he may study, and commands me to nurse only dark justiciers that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madam, please deliver us aid so uh, I might close every tear and cleanse every wound, even those of harpers and selenites. We will humbly accept all you can offer. Potions, herbs, sutures, even clerics. Help us to heal. So Anna Lidwin, if we happen to find her, we need to try and help her. Because she seems like the only sane one in this uh, place. Wow. Lovely meat all over the place. We have a door. Take this silver tray first. I took the tray without disturbing the tin cups on it. That's that's pretty uh, pretty good. What have we here? It's a room. Oh, sister. No. Oh. Lidwin was the nice one. Doesn't look like she's doing too good. Locke and Komira are dead. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Ugh. I know that corpse. Mm. Arabella's father met a most unpleasant end. 
That's grim. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicate. Yeah. To ease the pain. Um. Give the corpse a subtle poke. I'm not going to do that. Patient's definitely dead. Been dead for a while, judging by the smell. The patient is asleep. The sedative is quite strong, you see. Ah, I see now. They're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. Let's maybe send her off somewhere else. No. Your untrained eyes deceive you. Now I must ask you to step away. This patient demands my utmost attention. Uh, I feel uh, I feel sorry for her. Don't think she deserved this. Get the Baldur's Gate, an old map of a druidic style of what appears to be hidden routes from the Emerald Enclave. Or out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate, and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You cannot afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. baggage. Good luck. I believe we saw that with the uh, tieflings before. The Wraithwind House of Healing Inventory of various poultices, tonics, and potions. Supplies appear to have dwindled dramatically in its final days, and upon the book's front cover is scrawled a message in black ink. Justiciers only. No exceptions. Delightful. Um... Music box, huh? <laughs> the Baldur's Gate theme. So, is a bone saw a weapon? It sure is. That's pretty cool, actually. I wish you could enchant just anything to be effective, because it'd be pretty cool to play like a crazy surgeon character with a bone saw as their main weapon. It's just. Not actually an effective weapon in any way, shape, or form. In anything. <laughs> uh, well, that's... That's something. Okay, I'll take that. Another silver tray. Locke and Kamira. Yep, they are dead. I wonder where Arabella is. I don't know if we can actually help her. Don't call the doctor yet. Oh, you're a patient. No. Oh. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. I see you have medical supplies on hand. Can you spare any? I will sell will. you what I can once I've stabilized the patient. Ah, uh, we need to. Ah, uh, but we failed. So the patients are. We can't Let's access her uh, inventory, unfortunately can't buy from her um yeah these boots have seen everything I was kind of hoping we could help her her but maybe should have used my inspiration oh sister Clara is dead that's uh unfortunate we've got some roots down Galpul over here sister Julia More for me oh Christ Malice Thorm sister Gian. Um, Sister Huna, Sister Vanessa, and Sister Anya, and a distressed patient who looks like he's probably getting vivisected. That's a lot of, uh, cherry juice soaked ropes around him, so presumably whoever was there before was not having a very good time. Um, lovely. Let's loot Sister Julia. What do you got? Another bone saw? I'll take it. Wraithwind Necrology and Sister Patricia. The solace of the ladies whispers with each spice. A pot. Okay, Wraithwind Necrology. The soot stained scroll is a list of the dead, specifically casualties of battle. It is dated 986 DR, about a half millennium ago, and is signed by Malice Thorm. Wow, a half millennium millennium ago. Okay. Titus Craft, Justiciar, Decapitation. Loudon Ebon, Justicier, Blood Loss, Unknown Selenite, Arcane Burns, 
Unknown, Smashed Skull, Moran Mar, Justicier, Split in Two. Wow. Unknown Druid, Crushed Windpipe. From the names... From these names follow hundreds of others. A final index, catalogs, objects plucked from various corpses, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sort. Another syringe. Oh, a syringe is a weapon. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's just a random severed head here. All right. Fair enough. Sister Inessa, what do you have? An artificial leech. Also very cool. <laughs> we have ourselves a tombstone, but I guess that's just outside. And not reachable from here. What, do, what does Sister Clara have? It's probably some other implement of... Yeah, indeed. A trepan, which is also a weapon. <laughs> Let me give these all. I'm going to hold on to them. Seems kind of cool. In fact... I must wonder. Can we assist her? Hmm. I'll do better. And the patients will be better. And it will all be fine. See you I will sell you what I can. Once I've stabilized the patient. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to fix that, unfortunately. Maybe I should have uh, inspiration for that. I'm going to head up here before we talk to Malice Storm, because I feel like Malice Storm is going to be a boss fight. Tiger Mist. Wonderful. Painting. What does it say, actually? Huge improbable peaks elude the prowling of this mist, known as Tiger Mist in Faerunian folklore for its strange padding quality. Interesting. Oh, and we have another one. Forgotten Temple. Which says... An old temple sits ensconced in a cliffside, tucked away from the piercing rays of the sun. Makes sense, given where we are. I'll give all of the medical equipment to, uh... Sterian. A button. So we can go up with this button. If we were to attack this place, I would like to have the high ground. But I think I will actually talk to them first. Can we get everyone up here, or...? Nope, I guess it's just me and Will. Alright. So be it. Library and records, I can lockpick this. me out? Myself. Easy peasy. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Entering turn based mode. Ah, because they're no longer. Shit. They get back. Get back in the light. Okay, I think we actually need to uh, get everyone up here. Which is going to involve some... Uh... Keep your distance, darling. Good enough. Can't give up now. Oh, come on, guys. Think this is going to be fine? Yes. <laughs> Another step forward. All right, let's go. the chest, huh? And we have a way out onto the roof where there's something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's just just mushrooms. Okay, it is a, uh, a chest. We'll have a Starian lockpick it, because he can do it too. He can actually do it slightly better than we can, which makes sense. Give him some guidance. Wonderful. What do we got? Elixir of Vigilance. Drink to gain 5 to initiative. This will be resistance to necrotic damage. And extra level 1 spell slot. All of this is pretty good. Bronze Chalice here. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to drink elixirs. Now is the time. We have this buff that's going to last until uh, rest anyways. So we may as well... 
use them. So let's coat our weapon in an oil of accuracy. And see if we can't drink an elixir. An elixir of vigilance. You know what? I'm going to chug it. Wits and blades always sharp. Um, you don't have an elixir. You give a wizard's bane oil on your weapon? Maybe not that. I think I'm carrying tons of elixirs, so I'll have a quick look here. An elixir of arcane cultivation. Another level one spell slot. I only have two level four spell slots. Or I could take an elixir of necrotic resistance, or one of these. Fire resistance. No, I don't think that's necessary. Dark vision's not necessary. Bark skin, I have better AC as is. A third, no, because it's going to be uh, based around armor. Actually, having a bark skin elixir would be pretty good. No, so it just does your armor flat to 16, so that's actually total crap. Um, maybe Will can use one, though. An extra level 2 spell slot. And you do actually get an extra level 1. That is cool. So that works on Warlocks, too. Necrotic Resistance. I can give Necrotic Resistance to Will. Yeah, it's... Bark skin kind of kind of sucks. Or we do the extra level one as well. We'll do that. Perfect. Looking ahead. Need to find a way forward. We could also put an oil on Shadowheart's weapon, actually. Sterian's got a couple of these, so. accuracy oil on her. Let's get on with it. Why not? Okay. No We're all juiced up. Moving in. Another gilded chest here, interestingly enough. We'll let Varian Don't do some work there. Unlocked. And what do we got? More money? An ingot? Elixirs? Let's split these up. This is pretty good, actually. Necrotic resistance here. It'll be quite solid. I'll take that myself. Oil of combustion. That sounds fun. Alright. Any more uh, chests here? Just a wooden desk. Let's see. A hospital library key and a quill. Still breathing. Despite everything. And what have we out here? There's some stone gargoyles. Hopefully they remain as gargoyles. And not something else. We have a path up to somewhere. Not sure what we're gonna find up there. Whatever it is, this could be interesting. Hold on, there is a silver knife. Didn't see that. Okay, now we have it. What's hiding here? So yeah, there's a, another path we can go, um, but there's, there was also yeah this stuff right up here, which I would like to quickly check. It is a nest of something. I don't know what, but there's half a human skeleton in here, so that's that's lovely. And some good alchemical ingredients. So, that, that's nice. Pig's head? I'll take that too. Okay. Um, quickly explore up here, or is this like a whole nother area? I'm gonna, I'm gonna head up here, and then we're gonna go and confront Malice. The hunts. Excuse me? All these dark justices slain in battle. They must have a stronghold nearby, or a temple. Yeah. They must. Probably Moonrise. Who the fuck was talking, though? Was that Will? Maybe have been Will. I'll take that. We got some black oleander here. It looks like this was a, uh... Sharon camp? Oh. No, you. Oh. 
Fucking, of course. Fucking Raphael just talking to himself. Ah, this is a Temple of Char. That's been ripped open. Our hero thought but a treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. Um. <laughs> How long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Until it was perfect. Okay, at least he's honest. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. What dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. Well, thanks. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. As we've seen up if here. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, <laughs> chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Paint me a clearer picture than that. Hell yeah. Mushroom power, help me out. Not even Raphael can resist the mushrooms. 32. What you got on that, Raphael? Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. All right. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. Mm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. The devil of many faces. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, no. kill it. Consider no other course of action. You're still only telling me half of what you really know, I can tell. Also, a fairly easy test, but not one that we can get any further bonuses on, but that's fine. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Fair enough. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale if... If you heed this warning, do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Okay. Wait. Before you go... Oh. I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think, think again. Way. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. Hmm. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details. <laughs> of course. What's the and I will. It? Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hells. What are you talking about, Asterion? What scars? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. <laughs> How unlike you. Why not let them see? 
Don't be shy. Oh. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. Don't pout, Spawn. Just destroy the beast. <laughs> and I'll happily reveal your secrets instead of your skin. Yes, fine. We'll kill this damn creature of yours. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Well, now you know. <laughs> All I know is that you have us doing odd jobs for a devil. It could be infinitely worse. We seem rather good at killing things. This is true. Let's just go. <laughs> Standing here chatting gets us nowhere. And can you put some clothes Although on? Although I should probably get dressed first. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that. Oh, man. <laughs> What over here? Potion of greater healing? Uh, we'll give that to Asterion. He'll need that for his pride. Um, selenite rope again? Rusty short sword. You know what? I'm gonna take all these. We'll give the selenite rope to Shadowheart just to piss her off. And, uh, don't think I need the rusty sword. I'll give you another one. Why not? She could sell them for money. We have Dark a skeleton. Justicious. Oh. Who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne. Makes sense. Okay, I have a theory. So we found the old Shah temple down underground. It had been... Oh, this is definitely a former Harper camp. Not a... Well, these are... That's a dark... Just... No, that's a Mistra symbol. That's the symbol of Mistra. And that's the symbol of the Harpers. Interesting. Um, anyways, we found the old Shah temple around Grimforge. Right? And it had been ripped open by something. This gate has also clearly been ripped open by something. We found the remnants of a devil. No, not a, the remnants of a devil. We found a devil who wears a mask that bears the face of their master. A, uh... I, I can't remember what they were called, but they, it had, like, the baby face mask. Really, really creepy looking. It was a bit of a rough fight. And they are supposedly a legion. And they all will bear their master's face. I believe the master is going to be the one that we're going to find in there. And this was very cool, finding this. Uh, I guess we could have just come here from below as well. I'm actually going to go below and quickly check that out. And then we're going to head back into the temple. The temple? The the doctor place. The, the hospital. Jesus Christ. Doctor place, temple, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, Talk to Malus Thorm. I think we're probably gonna have to kill him. And judging from the looks of him, it it's gonna be an interesting fight, and we're probably gonna have to kill the. Uh, the... Dedicated to Hugo Hobbs, cobbler. Hobbs the cobs to his friends. Hobbs the cobs. Well, rip Hobbs the cobs. Um. Here rests Violet Goldhammer, beloved singer. May her voice live on in our memories. Yeah. Wow, these are still intact. Unbelievable. We can head it back up this way, which would allow us to enter through a window here. Yes. It's, it's something. House of Healing. Okay. What about with violence? No. Okay. <laughs> Not everything can be solved with violence. Is that a thing we can jump onto? Not enough space. Apparently not. Well, we can jump down here, or we can jump down here and not hurt ourselves. So let's do the not hurt ourselves option. But there is an oak door there. We have a pile of sacks. We're looking around. Just picking up all kinds of other stuff along the way. We may as well swing around this place. Read the tombstones. Here lies Peter Vries, scholar and hermit. This one's non-interactable, apparently. Okay, some of them are just bugged. 
some incense. Here lies Yarrick Crumb, lifelong bachelor and patron of the arts. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, one final, no, two, three final tombstones? Multiple final tombstones? Dedicated to Rondal Peak, stonemason. Never missed a day's work due to illness, barring his last. <laughs> There's something ironic about the things written on some of these. Makes me think that whoever was carving them didn't Here like everybody. Here lies Alden Quiggs, fishmonger, survived by his nine cats. I hope they all made it well. Nine is a good number for cats, so. Okay, uh, cool little pond. Gotta say, I like it. The, the flooded graveyard pond. Very pretty. Would be a nice place to take a dip. That's a that's a lie. Alright, back inside. Oh no, this is not back inside. This is Shadow Cursed Humans. And a Shadow Mastiff and some more Shadow Cursed things out there. I think maybe we should take these out. Just in case. How best can we take them out? We can have Asterion. Sneak into position. I don't think he actually needs to sneak into a proper position. He can just use this and pick one of them off. Can't have disadvantage against the target. Why can we not have disadvantage? Or, I mean, okay, I, I understand. So that's Why? Um, maybe you move up a little to here. Darian can move to the edge. And then pick one of them off. We still can't pick any of them off. We can shoot the Shadow Mastiff. Critical hit. Well, that straight up deleted that one, so that's pretty good. Um, is everyone involved? Everyone is involved. And Asterion can act again. Holy crap. Kill the Wraith. Damage the Wraith. Wraiths are scary. All right, get into cover. Good job, Asterion. Okay. A Shadow. All right, Will. Anything to be attacked here? Yeah. Target the Wraith. See if we can't focus this thing down. These are highly unpleasant. I'm gonna send the Imp in as a distraction. Not enough movement to attack there, huh? Um... Fly? To... Oh, it doesn't matter, huh? Invisibility, then. Uh, or do we send it in? No. It's just gonna stand here. It'll be a distraction. So if we lose the Imp, that's, uh, you know, big deal. 81% chance of hitting. Why are we at a disadvantage? Too dark. The other ones didn't have that problem. I guess they had dark vision. And I do not. That's okay. We almost got him down. I'm about to get attacked in melee, though. Strength drain. Uh. I don't care. Oh. Never mind. I do care. Brain life. Okay, did it heal from that? It did not. Okay, so they're coming in now. They are luckily going for my imp. So, rip imp. I wish they familiars got a little bit stronger. Okay, Shadowheart is here for some reason. Um, should be fine. She should be able to just take it out. Goodbye. Drop a heal on Ash. Lovely. So, Ash is locked in melee, so let's try and do a sneak attack there. That was pretty effective. And then he can get into melee and do a, uh, a offhand strike there. Starion's doing a whole lot of damage. Okay. Where's Will? Ow. Here's Will. Will should get in there. Or Will can get in here. Gotta focus him down, right? Critical miss. Why, Will? Okay, Daredevil proximity. Still have disadvantage because of uh, the fact that I'm heavily encumbered. I, Not ideal. Or can do a dissonant whispers. That won't be a problem. See if we can't dissonant whispers one of these other ones here. Alright, so that one's frightened. And I'll... Uh, Stab that one, so he's silenced. Okay, not bad. Shadow is approaching. Strength drain. God damn it, again. 
Yeah, I'm gonna reroll that. Ouch. Okay, still strength drained. Doubly strength drained. Okay, it's not like a permanent thing. It's just a. Uh, it's not as bad as shadows used to be. It just has a couple of turns. Effect. They used to like permanently drain stuff. You could, you know, use restoration to get it back, of course, but it was uh, annoying. <laughs> Made shadows just an absolute nightmare to fight. Okay, so you could do a, uh, a potential instant kill there, or we can do it. Let's try and get some big damage in there. Nice. Okay, so that one's almost dead. I didn't want to waste all of that damage on one target, so maybe I should have. Asterion's getting kind of messed up here. Um, let's see if Will can't kill them. What we could also do is move him a little so that he can arms of Hadar these two. <laughs> oh. That is going to hit Asterion, which is not what I want to have happen. So, perhaps if we move this way, can't trigger another attack of opportunity. That's going to hit three of them. That sounds good to me. Okay, it... Oh yeah, of course, it's necrotic damage. It's not going to do much. Is all that matters. My bad. Um, one hit on you to kill you, and then a hit on the shadow. Fantastic. And, uh, you can just cut that one. And damage with just a random throwaway cut. Even with Strength Drain. I guess it's a finesse weapon, so that makes sense. The Necrotic Claws have missed. Very good. That one's missed. That one did not. Asterion is getting absolutely shit-mixed right now. Um, Shadowheart, can you... heal Asterion? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Go beat up the shadow. No Divine Strike Poison. That ain't gonna do anything here. Okay, Asterion. Can you shank the shadow? Off it goes. Back to the netherworld. And, uh... You can die. As well. Lovely. Double kill for Asterion. Okay, Asterion has been hit by every single attack. And the shadow is gone. That is, uh, annoying. Right, Will, if you can attack this dwarf, also a miss. Our melee combatants have not been particularly good. Um, heavily encumbered, which is giving me disadvantage, but uh, not much I can do about that. Still, we managed pretty well, so I'm going to move up here, slowly. And, uh, ah, the shadow has been revealed by the lamp. That's cool. Makes sense, too. Hellas Rebuke. It's a lot of damage. We're going to be doing a short rest anyways. See ya! <laughs> yep, that one's dead. Um, Shadowheart, if you can help up Asterion, perhaps with a... Uh... Do one of these. Okay, everyone's back up. Everyone gets a little bit of health. Shadowheart, go whack the shadow. Okay. That's a, uh, a hit. Very good. Asterion... Can I not use my bow? Ah, I do not have an action. I cannot use my bow. That's okay, I've got an offhand weapon, and that should probably do the trick. Fantastic. The enemies are dead. That was uh, a rougher fight than it probably needed to be. Let's put the party together so that we can get out of here. Okay, no shadows to uh, see the remnants of, fortunately. Um. Can I just destroy it? I can consume it. That'll give me poison. I'd rather not. Okay, I'm just picking up rotting bananas. We can always throw them at people if need be, so... That's uh, what we'll keep them for. Shadow Cursed Half-Orc. Just randomly distributing these uh, items. So we definitely want to do a short rest. So, let's quickly do that. We got two of these. Sterian is doing all right. I could give him... What's his potion situation? Yeah. Chug one of these. Maybe even chug two of these. And you'll be in good position. And then we can head inside and talk to Malleus Thorm. This is... Ah, we're here. Okay. Can't do that. Then we can head through this side passage here. Why? Oh, the door leads down there. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. That makes sense. But let's be smart about this, shall we? 
Keystarian. Close. Can move himself. Your eyes are sharp. Here. The hero at heart. And will. Every move. step counts. Ah, yeah, of course. Does it. We can't really do that, can we? Shall we? Fine. Let's just make sure that he stays in a position where he's not getting killed by the Shadow Curse. <laughs> Can't afford to stay idle. Go there. Ash will open the door just in case the opening the door triggers the uh, encounter. Okay, that seems to have dispelled the shadow curse on them. Whatever it takes. Shadow heart will remain right here. Do we want to buff up already? Like I'm highly suspecting that this is a combat encounter waiting to happen. Um, like a concentration based buff. What do we got? Bonus to saving throws from uh, resistance, which is a cantrip. It lasts only for 10 turns. Uh, I don't know how long... Uh, I think we can exit turn-based mode once we uh, cast it. Well, there's like a... No, we probably don't need to worry about Blade Ward. I think we're going to be taking a lot of necrotic damage. There is Blur. You know what? I can never cast Blur. It's gonna be her concentration. It, only, it still only lasts for ten turns. All right. Is that Do you have anything to cast? No. Never mind. You don't really have any self buffs. Actually, you have got a lot of self buffs. It's just I've got haste. Let's. Just wait till we're a bit closer. Never a dull moment. I move. I right, seriously. Ah, I have to end everyone's turn, of course. All right. Well, blur looks cool. <laughs> Actually, looks like a blur. Who'd have thought? Okay, so I am going to cast haste on myself now that we're close. So I will at least have a couple of turns of haste, ten turns of it even. Let's let Shadowheart advance with us. And I'm going to quick save this because I don't know what this fight's going to be like. This might be a rough one, but we are prepared. At the very least, we're prepared. We're juiced up with all kinds of stuff. I think we might be okay. Quick save successful. It's always good. Ah. You tr we triggering the, uh, yeah, we are. The this objective is of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. Um. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Shar. I love the lenses on his mask. Very sharp. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort. Hear the very melody of mercy. I'm just standing there. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Oh, boy. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Um. What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on. Acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. Mm. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. 
It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. <laughs> See, what is the light of eyes? Just carve his eyes out. But the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being. Jesus. If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence. In darkness, there is absence. In light is presence. In darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Investigate. Examine the sisters and their implements. Yeah, I'll do this. Well, we'll see. Nope. Not today. It's the... They each have the separate uh, tool. You know, nothing unusual about the sisters, aside from their menace. No, they do all have the same. Um, the sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. We can send the sisters away. Yes. The sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. Oh, I'll cast friends, friends on him. Sure, why not? Um, excuse me? Why did that happen? Oh, Will casts it, right? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, great success. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. <laughs> they need a better subject to practice on first. Not a student, but a master. DC 21. This is one I want to pass. Oh yeah, we got it. <laughs> I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Come, sisters. Soothe me. Ouch. <laughs> what a perfectly normal hospital. I think we can bring everybody back in. I cannot control myself. I'm incapacitated. Why is that? Everyone is frozen. I'm ready. On I go. Um, hopefully the game didn't screw up here. I think that's just okay. It was stuck in turn-based mode. That was why. All right. right. What now? Okay, so she's just climbing up there, and uh, Malastorm is dead. Surgeon's subjugation amulet. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Okay, good on a crit build. Potentially really good there. And uh, that's going to camp. I'm taking everything else. Battered loot. Okay. That's what staring as well. Oh, that's the loot I can use to wake up. Hello. Cure. He was cured. The great cure. Final. Final. Forever. What? Embrace. I have the blessing of... I just realized the irony here. I've got the Dark Lady's Grace and the blessing of Saluna at once. 
So these four sisters were dead. She remains silent. Why is that? What is this? What is happening here? Sister Huna, we've already talked to. I think we need to talk to all four of them and something might happen. Ooh, the surgical bed. We can actually lockpick this. I can lie on it. Mm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Very well. Be still, darling. Let Sister Anya comfort you. Okay. And there's Sister Jian right here. Master. No. Oh. No. Yeah, she doesn't have veils over her eyes. Not. Her eyes stitched shut. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna head out and see if I can talk to uh, Sister Lidwin here. The doctors found oblivion. No time to mourn. I'll fix this without him. I will sell you what I can. Once I've I stabilized still can't the patient. Do anything here. Okay. And I still don't know what this thing is that's happening. Um perhaps we can talk to the last one, Sister Cinda. That's kind of my last hope here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see. Oh. Are the doctor is absent today. Come back another time. Yep, absent. That is what happened. Anyways, that was fun. Um <laughs> he was cured. I uh I hope you've all enjoyed it. This is where I'm gonna drop or leave off today's episode. In the next episode, um we're going to uh go off into the underground area and follow up on Raphael's job which should be interesting we'll fight this uh, Lord of Legions or whatever he might be called I honestly have no idea um, My again my knowledge of D&D uh, &D is not quite enough to uh, know these things by heart but anyways uh, this was a strange experience to be sure but hey we managed to uh Non-violently, yes, that is what we did. Solve the doctor problem without violence. Just want to make that very clear. We did not do any violence. Uh, you fucking crazy sisters, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was pretty cool. Drop this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Ash Erder out. <laughs>